How's it going, everyone? In today's video, we are going to be playing some actual scary levels in Geometry Dash. Now with platformer mode, scary levels are going to be even scarier because in old Geometry Dash, where you were constantly in motion, scares happened all at set times and you kind of knew they were coming. But now in platformer mode, you can move through levels at your own pace and uh, the scares are going to be more organic. So it's going to be pretty good. I picked out some horror levels that we are going to play in today's video and make sure you wait till the final level because i am saving the scariest level for the final level in the video it is so scary the first being a part of poppy playtime chapter three this animatronic called catnap catnap found you at station and it decided to play before killing you so it should be pretty good deep sleep by polka loca Let's see how creepy this is. And yeah, that is that is creepy looking. I have played Poppy Playtime chapter one and two. But I haven't played three yet. So I haven't run into catnap. Oh boy. Oh, there's a tutorial. 60 before you fall asleep. Oh, so what is 60, 60 seconds before I fall asleep? There's like some sort of toxic thing in the air. This video tutorial will help you use our equipment wisely. First of all, be careful. This is just like in Poppy Playtime. Uh, this is what the tutorials are like. That's catnip, catnap. It sprays red smoke, which makes you fall asleep. Okay. So we fall asleep, we're dead. This is a green character. You can take and transfer green energy to the receiver. Oh, this is a grab shot. It shoots with its hand at places where you can't get to activate anything. This is purple pad. It allows you to jump incredibly high when you activate it. Okay, so there's all these different devices we need to know about. That's all for now. Good luck. Godspeed to me. Oh my God, catnap is humongous. Look at that. Okay, did I just, did I just die? Oh my God, I jumped way further than I thought. I'm dead. So you jump pretty high. So I can grab this and I got to take that some, <laughs> I need to grab this green energy and we need to take it over there. I see it, but I, I'm jumping so high. The gravity, it's unreal. I can't handle this. Okay, there we go. Look, I attached it together. Okay, I attached it together and the door is open. 39 seconds before I fall asleep. So I just, oh, I just pulled this elevator op over here. And I smacked it and now I attach that and we're going over. Okay, 28 seconds before I fall asleep. I can push these boxes over to jump onto here. And what am I, what, oh, do I gotta get the, I gotta get the boxes out of the way. What, 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 what? Oh no, what am I doing? I'm messing it up, I'm messing it up. Oh, I was supposed to put a box over where, oh, I think I, I screwed it up, I'm dead. I think I was supposed to push the box over here. Oh no, 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 I got the screwdriver. I got the screwdriver to get in the vent, but five more seconds before I fall asleep. No, no, no. All right, that's it, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Catnap ate me. Oh, wait, you can jump really high on these, right? No, but I got to activate it first. And why can't I activate this? Because I need to get the energy to it. Oh, yeah, it's it's all coming together now. It's all coming together. So I get the energy to this. I activate that. It activates the big, large jumps. And I can do a big, large jump and I escape. Please be careful on the convoys. They're not very reliable. You may fall. That's, that's okay. I, I used it. I used it. Okay. So I think I got to... Oh, my God, dude. I only have eight seconds before I fall asleep. Five seconds. I got, I attached it. Two seconds. Help me. Dude, you have to go so lightning fast, man. Okay, I got, I got both. I got both. Yeah, you got to tap both the buttons. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I got this. Dude, dude, dude. Okay, I'm, I'm crushing it, man. 15 seconds before I fall asleep. I don't know if I could go much faster than this, please. Is there a safe room or something? Oh. What? Do I have to jump over that? Or is this scripted? Oh no, I made it. I made it. I made it. Okay. Press here. That's a checkpoint. Nice, dude. That was intense. You got to go fast. Holy shoot. What did I just get? Hmm. I guess I opened uh, the door. Okay. Am I going to fall asleep though? Oh shoot, dude. Catnap's actually coming for me. Let's get a close view. Hello. <laughs> I wanted to get a close view first. Okay. Boom. Let's go run. So now it's just an intense chase. All right, no, no shenanigans or tricks here. It's just pure, pure adrenaline and pure fastness. Oh, you stupid crate. Oh, shoot. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I'm ready for flying crates coming from my cheeks, dude. What? Hey, what did, did I just, I just died to a falling light. So you got to jump over the lights because they, they electrocute you. Okay, I, I get it. Oh, yes. I hit, I, dude, I hit you. Oh, shoot, so close. Ah, run, run. Oh, okay, jump over the light. Dude, is that it? Did I do it? 
That was, oh, oh, I was so close to dying. I did it. That was fun, man. That was intense. I don't know if I'd call that scary, but it was very intense. I, I appreciate that. That was good, dude. That was so good. Thrilling. That's all I got to say about it. Absolutely thrilling. The next horror level we're playing is one that is unrated, but all I did to find this is I typed in Slender into the search bar to see if I could find a Slender level. You guys remember Slender? YouTube 2012? It was insane, all right? I have a video for it a long time ago that's still on my channel. If you wanna look up my original playthrough of Slender from 2013, I think I played it. What is this? Milk. F yeah, hydrogenated milk, mother That's what we're gonna be drinking. <laughs> can you find all eight pages and survive? Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. This level contains flashing images. So we are playing Slender in Geometry. I never thought I'd see the day. If you get approached by Slenderman, keep running away from him until he isn't visible on screen. Your screen starts glitching for too long, you will die. So we just basically have to run the opposite way of Slender. And every time we get a page, the song or the, the sound gets more intense. Like boom, boom. Can't run, boom, two pages. Oh, okay, there's Slender. And the screen starts going wild. So we ran away, that's good. But we gotta keep on going forward for some more pages. Uh, this seems like it'll be pretty easy, actually. He's supposed to get more aggressive, help me. He's supposed to get more and more aggressive the more pages you get. So we'll see if that actually- ah! <laughs> Holy shoot, I didn't expect him to pop up right in front of me. That was, yep, that was a jump scare and a half. No, dude, bro, I gotta go that way. Dude, this is great. I actually, I love the atmosphere of this. This is, it's pretty intense. Dude, Slender was such a simple game and it used to scare, ah, it used to scare the crap out of me, man. Like compared to horror nowadays, it's, it's very relaxing, Slender. But like, dude, it, it's so, I don't know what it was. It was just, that was the day when we didn't have horror games quite like it. Yeah, no, like the genre of things that chase you, like the, Slender and Amnesia back in the day where they're like those days, it was so it was so creepy, man. Okay, it is pretty easy to avoid him though. I wish I wish he was a little bit more aggressive, you know, but I mean, he's not supposed to move. He's just supposed to stand there. And if you look at him, you can back away from him. Oh, okay, that was close. That was, was we as well close. Let's go. Ah! I touched him. I touched him, man. And then I backed away. Holy shoot. What's this? I wonder if you die if you went in the fire. Okay, seven out of eight pages. I think, oh, at the end of Slender, you just die anyways, though. Even if you get all eight pages. I don't know, I don't know why he doesn't want us to collect these pages. It's just my homework. That's why I'm here in the park. My dog took my homework into the park and strewn it all about and I, I gotta go get it. That's why I'm not at school, teacher. Okay, I'm trying to get my homework from the park, from the dark, scary park. And I've had to run away from Slenderman now for a long time. Oh my god. Ah, jeez, dude! He is hyper aggressive. And I feel like I, I've almost died a few times. Like, the screen was getting pretty glitchy. Oh, I'm inside the bathroom. This is the worst part. You never wanted to come in here. Go back, go back. Okay. I got all eight pages. Oh, if we go back, we're just dead, right? Yeah, I think I think we just die if we go back. Yep. But that's okay. I'm here for it. Oh, and you're dead anyways. <laughs> oh, dude. That was a good recreation of Slender. You got to appreciate it. That was great. Hey, what's up with all those minus points? All right, Slender, dude. <laughs> what a blast of the past. That was fun. And you know what? It would be an absolute disservice to this video if I didn't include a lobotomy <laughs> horror level. My master Caban. I saw this one on YouTube. Can you survive lobotomy? Look at that scary attempt count. Attempt one. Oh my. Let's get the coin. <laughs> Dude, I actually died to that. I, I knew that spike was gonna get pushed or something. And I actually died. You are now cursed. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We went to cursed lobotomy land. I'm so stupid. Okay, I made it. Can you talk to him? He just says, bruh. Nice, of course, it's a lobotomy horror level. We're not here for the actual scares. Look at that lobotomy guy stuck in the wall. I mean, the normal face. I mean, the lobotomy face. What is it? Okay, let's. I, there's there's a ladder up there. I feel like I should have tried to go up. Let's, oh no! The scariest thing we've ever encountered so far today. <laughs> Come on, dude. A creepy lobotomy face. Wait, you can't. Oh, you can't get up there until you actually get the face to spawn. So let's just. Oh, dude! No, the screen moves over too far. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Got away! Got away! Got away! Okay. 
I'm not. Are you, you stupid thing? Oh my God, get in there. Hey, what's over here? What is that? I feel like I'm going to die. It's just fire in the hole. That's this, this. Okay. Okay, let's go. I suck at jumping. There we go. I don't know why I had such a hard time with that. Jeez, that was hard. You escaped lobotomy successfully. Click to complete. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's what we can expect from a lobotomy horror, but it did its purpose, all right? And I actually did get the coin. I just cheesed it because I didn't hit the wall. That's very interesting. The next one we're doing is Night Plus 2 by Yay MSC. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but this is this is the Five Nights at Freddy's recreation in uh, Geometry Dash, and I've been meaning to play it. I just haven't gotten around to it. So this is a horror game. Great. So we can choose which one we want. There's options. There's extra needs six nights. This is it's basically just five nights of Freddy's. I've completed nights. So let's play Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I don't know if I'm going to play this entire thing. I don't know if I'm going to play it all the way to completion, but I, I want to see what this is all about. I want to see how close to the original game it is because I've played a lot of five nights of Freddy's. All right. I, if you look back way back on my channel, I've done like all the challenges on like five nights of Freddy's one. Most of them on Friday's race two, except for the golden Freddy challenge. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. You can go through and you can see all the cameras. Dude, this is intense. I can't believe this is actually something that's in Geometry Dash. Like, that blows my mind. Okay, now where do I... That's where I close the doors. Okay. So I go back and forth. So there's close the doors. There's camera. Is there... There's something to do with... That's the lights. You can see the lights over there. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. So let's see cameras. Let's make sure none of them are coming close. I mean, okay, there's, uh, that looks like Bonnie. Bonnie's 1A. Freddy's still there. So Chica comes on the right side, right? Yeah, I think Chica comes on the right side. So everything, by the way, for those that, of you that don't know how Five Nights at Freddy's works, there's, you have a battery power. You have to last until 6 a.m. Right now we're at 12 a.m. And time will like slowly go as we go through the night. But you have to conserve your power. You can't just keep the doors closed all the time, even though keeping the doors closed does protect you from death. You got to kind of use a combination of the cameras and the lights to see if they're right outside the door because there are some blind spots in the cameras. And you have to, oh shoot, one sec, I heard a sound. No. No, okay, that's fine. We don't want to leave the lights on for too long. Now, it is just the first night, so I can keep that door closed because I know Bonnie was coming from that side. And then if they do come to that side... Oh my god, Chica is really close to being here, right? Yeah, yeah, she was she was pretty close to being there. I'm just going to shut that door. And if you did successfully block them, then you'll hear a bang on the door, like bang, and then they'll go back to their original position. So I think I'm just going to leave that door shut. Yeah, and now Chica is gone. Oh, no, she went to uh, 10. She went to the camera in the bottom right corner, so she moved. But then there's also the other animatronics, which I know Freddy and Bonnie and Chica, they just slowly come towards you. But I forget how Foxy works in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Oh, see, Chica's right outside the door. So now the door should block her. If I open the door, I'm sure she will come in and kill me. So once she's gone, I can open the door and she should be back to her original position. Oh, so Bonnie's getting close. On night one, I think it's just Bonnie and Chica. So Chica's still there. We'll just wait it out. Yeah, see, Bonnie's there now. Bonnie was outside. And Chica's gone, so I can open this door to conserve some power. Let's see where Chica went to. Chica should have gone back to her normal position. She's at 9B. She's close. Shoot, so I guess I'm just going to close this again then. Time's going pretty slow. I forget if time is this long in uh, the original FNAF games. I forget. Okay, so... We did see Bonnie leave in real time there. So Freddy's still at the beginning because Freddy doesn't move on night number one. I've Chica is at 9B, so I'm glad we closed the door over there. And I think we can just open the left door. Bonnie is just gone somewhere. I'm using up a lot of power and it's just night number one. Yeah, I, I used up too much power. I'm kind of nervous now. Oh my god! Yep! Chica's there and we're, but d okay, okay, okay. I almost just got killed. Only at 4 a.m. though. You can see that in the top right corner. We got to wait until 6 a.m. Bonnie's gone. We can open that to conserve some power. Although we have 20% left, we still have like quite a lot of power. I think Chica might come once more. Bonnie's far away. Uh, Chica's actually, she's coming close. Yeah, Bonnie's way at the back. Okay. So it's just Chica we have to worry about, really. She's probably right there, isn't she? No, she's not. 
There we go. There, yeah, Chica's coming for one last final assault. Peace, bro. What, did I just get lobotomy faced? What? <laughs> That's like the equivalent of the Golden Freddy like popping up on your screen is lobotomy face. Excellent. I used up a lot of power that night. He's okay. 6 a.m. I survived night number one. This is insane how this is in Geom Trash 2.2. There's the extra night here, which is really hard. I'm just gonna, I'll do night two. So night two, either, I think Foxy comes in night two, except I forget Foxy's, oh, Foxy comes running at you from the back. I remember when this door opens, Foxy comes running at you. So I think what I'm gonna do then is I just wanna keep the camera at 1A and like the other animatronics like Bonnie and Chica, I can just use the light to see if they're there or not. I just go flash, flash. And then if they are there, I can just shut the door. I think that's what the strat was. And then checking to see if uh, this door was open or whatever. I know that, I know that, that I think that's what the Golden Freddy strat was for the challenge. I, I forget though, it's been so long, dude. It's been like almost 10 years since I played Five Nights at Freddy's one on my channel. Camera check, check. <laughs> Cause everything takes power. The camera takes power. The lights take power. I'm pretty sure that's the ultimate strat. I wonder if there's an element of randomness to this, like there is in FNAF, or um, this is just like purely scripted. Because it could be like a scripted series of events, you know? Oh, yeah. You can actually hear Chica when she comes. See, I think it's the ultimate strat. Just keep it on this door right here. I think that's the, I think that's the Foxy door. Oh, and there's Bonnie, okay. Bonnie and Chica decide to pop up at the same time. So I don't need the camera because both, both doors are shut. I just need to wait for one of them to go and then I can open the doors. <laughs> well, that's intense. Oh, Golden Freddy lobotomy face. That actually kind of creeps me out. Notice how my power economy is way better. Like I'm almost at 3 a.m. halfway through the night. I'm at 67%. Like, oh yeah. See, the thing is, if your power economy is really good at the end, the last hour, you can just like shut both the doors and you can just wait. Oh, there's Bonnie. There's Bon Bon. And there's Chica. At the same time, they make sound effects though. It's like the cupcake slapping against the, the window or something. So I have 35% power left and I've been on 5 a.m. for like 30 seconds or so. So this is why you- <laughs> What? <laughs> okay then. I missed- I- 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 I missed something. <laughs> I guess I forgot how Foxy came out. Holy shoot. Holy shoot. I should have just shut the door. All right, guys, this level's pretty cool. If you want to see me finish it, I will dedicate like an entire video to doing every single night and the extra night and playing like all the difficulties. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to showcase a bunch of different horror games. So I'm out, man. Dude, that's so cool that someone made FNAF in Geometry Dash. That's insane. The last level we're playing is one called Aparaphobia, which is a remake of PT, which was the teaser for Silent Hills that got released on the PSN. However, Silent Hills never came out because Hideo Kojima left the company because of all this internal strife, which sucked because Silent Hills was going to be an insane Silent Hill game. And I'm a massive Silent Hill fan, so it was a shame. But this is the remake of PT and the teaser itself was really scary. So uh, let's see. Let's see what this is all about, Philip. Love PT. Let's see how creepy this is. You should not play this level to win or for the sake of earning moons. Instead, try to immerse yourself with the atmosphere. It's supposed to be a slow paced and a confusing level. If you are not a fan of that, this isn't for you. To progress, you need to have patience and pay very close attention to small changes in detail. Oh, interesting. So my progress is always saved. That's cool. Let's go, man. Dude, this is gonna be awesome. I am stoked to play this. And there's the little like loading sign at the bottom. So the silent or uh, PT was actually pretty difficult to complete because there was all this. Oh, nice. You're supposed to crank up the volume. Well, volume's already cranked. Watch out the gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. Are you sure the only you is you? So this is an exact recreation where you wake up in the room, click to inspect or interact. And that's all there is. There's just one button. It's click. And that's all the game was too. There was click to inspect. And that's it. All right, so PT was all about this one hallway in a house. A brutal homicide took place while the family was gathered at home on a Sunday afternoon. The day of the crime, the father went to the basement, retrieved his pistol, and shot his son as he was playing on the computer after lunch. When his 16-year-old daughter came to investigate the commotion, the father shot her too. 
Police arriving on scene after neighbors called 911 found the father drunk in his basement listening to the radio. He was repeating a sequence of numbers in a loud voice. It was like he was chanting some strange spell. Several days before the murders, the father and his wife had arranged a divorce. As the number of homicides keep increasing throughout the states, reports suggest it could be part of a larger trend. Dude, that's uh, wild. It's exactly one, like the game. Like the, it's, so it's a repeating hallway. Like I said, this hallway just keeps on repeating, but every time you go through it, something else changes and every feels a little bit creepier every time you go through, or it goes back to normal after having been really creepy. And then it's, it's really cool. This like descent into madness. There's all these little details that you have to pay attention to. I remember to actually complete it. There were like all these like little secret notes. You had to get not notes, but secret little sigils or something. There's like five of them you had to get to actually complete it. And yeah, this is awesome. There's the bleeding eye now. This sign. Can you read it? Oh, dude. And I think that unlocks the door, right? So you got to pay attention because there's all these little things you need to keep track of or all these little details that are different through the hallway that you might miss, but you got to like inspect them and like see what's going on to progress. And then a door will open and it unlocks like the new same hallway that you've been into. It's, it's awesome, dude. PT is such a cool experience. <sighs> Dude, this is so good. It's so creepy. It's like PT, but it's in Geometry Rush. I, I honestly didn't expect Geometry Rush to get a PT remake. This is insanely cool. What just opened? What creaked open? It's the door behind me. No, not the door behind me. It's been a long time since I played PT, so I don't remember it. Okay, there's some like rodents. Oh, it's the door to the bathroom. Can we go in? Oh! Oh, did you see that? Holy shoot. Okay, now we can move on. So see, at, like, hallway, same hallway, but it just changes ever so slightly every time, and it gets creepier and creepier. Weirder and weirder. <gasps> I'm going back. No. Dude, the sound effects are unreal. Like, they did a great job with the voice acting for this. This is so good. Oh. oh. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Actual scary levels in Geometry Dash. This is so peak. I mean, it is purely just. Oh, we can go in there now. We can go into the bathroom. This is where really, really creepy stuff happens. So we got a flashlight. That's nice. And of course, there's a hole in the wall. Look at that. Oh, did you see? There's an eye in the hole in the wall looking at me. What? Oh. Just like PT, dude. It's this is such a good recreation. That's amazing. Okay, is that it? Are we, are we safe now? Can we get out? Oh, yeah, it just opens. Yeah, it's, it's a time thing. Okay, so now the hallway is very dark. To the next hallway we go. So the little symbols in the bottom right corner means it's saving. What? The brutal homicide took place while the family was gathered. It's the same radio. I. Same they voice acting. Went to the basement. Okay, anything? Stay tuned. The fun's just getting started. You know full well what you did. <laughs> See, I think like the idea of PT was you're playing as this person who killed his whole family, or this is like a nightmare you're in or something, right? Nine six three eight one four. Oh shit! You see that thing that was chasing me? Nine six three eight one four. Can you guys remember that? I knew there was gonna be horror games in uh, in two point two. I didn't realize. Oh my god! It's chasing me! It's chasing me! What? What? It's every everywhere that where the light isn't. Oh my god! What does it say? Gouge them out. The eyes. There you go. Yeah, that's part of the game. You got to do that. You got to you got to find all of the little details that are different, and then you that allows you to progress. Okay. Gouge them out. Gouge them out. This is excellent, guys. This is an excellent remake, and I'm so excited. Oh boy. 
Oh, there's the bloody fridge because I think he stuffed one of the bodies in the fridge. I can hear them calling to me from hell, right? I think that's what it's supposed to say. Oh man, hello. 2359, so we're stuck at 1159. I think it does change to midnight at some point. Uh, yes, bloody fridge. Oh, what did I miss? Oh, dude, the L on hello is missing. Hello. Yeah, I remember that. Oh man, I can call, I can hear them calling to me from L. Oh, you gotta go back and forth because the H and the E's, they keep on transferring back and forth. And then it eventually says hell. Cause yeah, now the E is gone. So it's just HLO and you go back and it says now where? From EL and it's gonna spell hell. <laughs> it's so good. Low, it's changing. Nice bloody sound. Ah! Some added jump scares in this as well. Now it's just, oh, so now it should say hell over here. Yeah, there's definitely some different jump scares in this. Like, especially with the, uh... Uh-oh. Especially with the, um, the thing that was following you. I forget what her name is. Lisa? Is, is Was that it? Lisa? Or was it Alice? I forget her name. It's been so long, dude. What? Let's just keep on going. Okay, so now the fridge is gone. You can hear them calling to me from hell. Oh, that was a free hallway. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes nothing happens in the hallway. Oh, look, now it's midnight. Okay. And that's the thing is you don't know. Now it looks more normal, right? It's like, oh, it's, oh shoot. What? Oh, we're in the hallway. We're in the eye hallway where everything is all like super messed up and twisted. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Where do I go? Do I got to go in here? No. Oh no, it keeps on going. It's not blocking me anymore. What the heck, dude? It's so weird. And topsy-turvy, now I'm going this way. Now I'm on top. The gravity's all switching. You know, should I be up here? Yeah, I guess I should be. Dude, it's so chaotic in all the best ways. Part feels creepy as hell. Oh. Okay. Okay. I didn't get jump scared though. I know Lisa is supposed, she's supposed to grab you at some point, but I absolutely did not get grabbed. Not yet anyways. But maybe I just did it without getting jump scared. I don't know. Let's go, let's go into the bathroom. I know at one point we're supposed to look through the people, but I think we did that when we saw the eye that was in there. Oh, dude, what? I actually pressed the, I got, I freaked out and I pressed the button. I think something was supposed to happen. And then I like looked away from it when it was like, bzzz. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Yep. Nine, three, six, eight, one, eight. <sighs> wow. Oh, nice. Back to the beginning. Warning contains jump scares, loud noises, blood, and mentions of domestic violence. Okay. So it goes it goes back to the beginning, but that's what's supposed to happen. That's not the end of the level, right? That happens in the game as well. So now we get back up. We got to solve a puzzle, right? Oh yeah, because we have the light and you don't start with the light normally. Oh boy, dude. Keep your distance from what? Let's try to look through the hole again. What about in the sink? I know in the game there was like a weird creepy baby thing in the sink, but I don't know if they would have put that in. Oh, clock strike at midnight again. Ah! Should we go back and see? Lisa. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh my God. That's the jump scare. That's it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting. <laughs> Dude, I thought I missed it. Glad I did. So we got it. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're getting to near the end. Oh man. Let's just keep on going. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Daniel, Sophie, I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. That's this main character. I imagine this main character talking to his family that he killed, right? Anything in the bathroom yet? Oh, dude, I, I, it looked like there was a weird face there. Man, oh man. Oh, that clock is so loud, dude. So I do know that the code in the original PT, 936A14, it had something to do with how many steps you were supposed to do. Like you were supposed to step backward like a certain amount of times. 
and you were supposed to find like these secrets in here. And I know one of the secrets was underneath the stairs. I don't know, like, honestly, I don't know if that's gonna have like any indicator on like how this is actually gonna play out. Let's just keep on going. Cause our light keeps on changing, right? Oh, it might have, our, our light keeps on changing from yellow to green. So the light might have something to do with like what we can investigate. Oh, there she is. Keep your, it says keep your distance. Man, I don't want to. I don't want her to grab me again. I don't want. Oh, she disappeared. Okay. Oh yeah, the phone. Here we go. You've been chosen. You've been chosen. All right. I think that might have been it. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I've been chosen. It sounds like that was progress, though. Keep on going. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's it. We may have just made it out to the end of the level. That's it. Silent Hills, the game that never was. So unfortunate. We are getting a Silent Hill 2 remake. What an excellent recreation, a paraphobia, which might be, I'm gonna guess it's just the fear of like being stuck in repeat or something, because I've never heard of it before. Made by Philip. That was an excellent recreation of PT. Honestly, that's one of the that's easily one of the creepiest levels in Geometry Dash, if not like the scariest level I've ever played in Geometry Dash ever. Excellent recreation with its own twist on things. It wasn't exactly a one-to-one -one recreation. It had a couple like scares and things that you didn't see in the game as well. Because Lisa was hidden in places like up above and you could see her sometimes and it was super creepy. But in this, like it, she followed you and she was like where the light wasn't. So like they made some changes to it, which was great, dude. Dude, that was so good. It was so good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm a huge horror fan and all the levels we played today were absolutely fantastic. And I enjoyed this immensely. I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot. And as always, peace.